Just not enough. That's what the family of a man injured in New Haven custody is calling the charges against the five officers involved. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live now from the studio. Audrey, there's a program in Connecticut that the officers could apply for in order to even lessen the legal impact. Isn't that right? Nicole Wendell, that's right, because both of the charges that the officers are facing are misdemeanors. A lawyer tells us that the officers could apply for the state's accelerated rehabilitation program. It's for first-time offenders who are charged with what the court considers to be minor offenses. Lawyers say that if the officers apply for and complete the program, it could allow them to avoid jail time, a conviction, and other penalties that could show up on something like a background check. Now, remember, this all stems from the arrest of Randy Cox over the the summer. Cox was thrown headfirst into the side of a police transport van when the driver stopped short. Video then shows New Haven officers dragging Cox out of the van by his feet, despite Cox saying he couldn't move. Now, Cox's family attorneys are already expressing their outrage at the possibility of the officers applying for the chance to have their records essentially wiped clean. Accelerated rehabilitation, which could allow them to have the charges dismissed as if it never happened at all, as if this didn't happen to Randy Cox. The judge is going to have to weigh uh, the, the nature of the allegations as they're defined statutorily against really the, the, the injury that was caused to this gentleman. Now, if the officers were to apply for this program, the Cox family would have the opportunity to speak out against it. We'll have more on how they could do that coming up in the next hour. Live in studio, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.